The next step is to create and define the full result of the tutorial. I call this Create, Deconstruct, Teach. The idea is to build the entire result first so you know exactly where you're going. Export a quick preview. It could be a flipbook, turntable, real-time capture, and if applicable, you can create a nice render with shading and lighting. Then you can start the tutorial with that finished result. State the promise. For example, you'll build that or this, render it in Solaris and Karma, and then you can preview so the user knows exactly what they'll be creating. You can also use this technique to avoid discovering on camera. So basically, once you have built everything, you already know all the steps and you can just follow them from a template. There are some great examples of the tutorials that follow this exact technique right on SideFX website. One of them is the foundations tutorial where you can see that the, uh, the actual course starts with the end result. You can see exactly what you'll be creating. And this way you can decide if this is what you want or you maybe want to create something else. Uh, you can also ha see that there is a sped up preview of all the operations that will be done in the process. So this is really great, right? Um, so for this thruster tutorial, you can also see that the final result is rendered and you can see that this is exactly what you'll be creating. All right, then we have some other tutorials, uh, how to simulate a small fountain. So basically you get the idea. Here is another example. This tutorial is um, made for real time and uh, it goes over how to create rocks and this is part of the project Skylark. So you can see again in the beginning, we can see the finished result. So it gets, gets you excited. You can see what, it, what you're going to be creating. You can see some of the process involved. All right, so this gives you like a nice expectation and then proceeding uh, will be the actual learning techniques. Now, let's say you want to create a shorter tutorial, like a node reference, and you don't know where to start. Well, you can always go to tutorials and in the filter for the levels, you can check, for example, node reference, and you'll find some really good ones in here. So let's check one that says Houdini 19 nodes. I think this one is pretty cool. And um, these tutorial series are describing different nodes in Houdini 19, but what's great about them, they are quite short and uh, each tutorial starts with basically the end result. You can see here, okay. So you can see this is what you'll be creating and then the tutorial starts, All right? So this is also a very good reference.